another day, another segment of Dino Crisis. So I did a bit of looking around, and first things first, I gotta go back to the to uh, this room here. And then, you s it's not this room that I'm concerned with. It is this room, I think it is. It's either this room or the next room over. My brain is actually failing me and I forget what it was I had to trigger. Oh wait, I have to supply power to this room with that one puzzle. What I now do is operate this terminal. And then this happens. Let me just drink some of my Mountain Dew here. And there you go. is Regina doesn't even look well to me didn't even look like she was looking at the door until you gain control of her again and yeah the unconscious woman's now been murdered she's been shot to death she's not breathing that's a lot of blood for a, well actually if he was holding a shotgun then yeah I could see that memo written in blood one, two, eight, one are written. Now, I don't know offhand what that does, but I think I do know. And uh, here we go into Dr. Kirk's personal lab. I don't know why this couldn't be its own cutscene. The walking into Dr. Kirk's lab, but whatever. Also, what do I have equipped? Okay. Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying... Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, Third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Uh -oh. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? You've spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. You know... Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the Vortex. 
<laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Level A. I finally have. Finally have the best key card. Okay. I'm all set to whip up a program that will send us to the third energy into the board. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Oh, that whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. This contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the device. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed device. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? I'm not sure how much this matters, but I'm going to go with Gale's strategy. Head for the B3 level A area. Okay, let's do it. Whatever you do, don't drop your guard for a second. Yeah, there's like a billion dinosaurs on that route. I think both paths have a chance for for you to get the best ending. Maybe. I actually don't know. A notice to the staff from Dr. Kirk. Will you read the file? Yes. Notice preparing the stabilizer and the initializer. Make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiment. Each of these two devices consists of the following three parts. Core parts, protect part A, protect part B. Protect part B. This means six parts are needed in all. Oh, each of these need those parts. Okay. These parts are stored... These parts are separately stored in the experiment room, the design room, and the part storage room. Once you have acquired all six parts, you can assemble them in the experiment room. The weightless manipulator must be operated by the staff of the level A class. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's anything here. Doesn't look like it. Let's move on. Okay, I got a plug. Plugs are always nice. Even nicer because they actually don't they actually don't take inventory spaces away from you. It's stained with chemicals. Now, real quick. Don't bother me. Before I do. If you remember, which I actually kind of forgot. You do need Dr. Kirk's fingerprint. Did you find those devices yet? <laughs> uh. No. Yeah, give me your hand, Kirk. I'll always take med packs. Uh, get get around that. Yeah. 
Yep. Third Energy as the Final Weapon by Ed Kirk. If the third energy reaction exceeds the critical point, it evokes the overload phenomenon. When this happens, we can't control it. The huge amount of energy creates a chain reaction and begins to disintegrate the surrounding air. The ensuing explosion will vaporize anything in the near vicinity. If we could control the area where the overload occurs, the third energy will literally become the ultimate weapon. The power of the weapon depends on how much energy we can restrain before the explosion occurs. In other words, the capability of the stabilizer is the key to everything. The third energy was supposed to be the project of the development policy. Create the basic power source for the permanently stationed weapon. If we change the policy of the project here and now, this government will be able to obtain the most deadly destructive device in the world. However, our current budget is completely out of the question. You'll find my estimate of the budget in the next chapter. Please review and consider. What are you still doing here? Go get those devices. <laughs> yes, sir, boss. Actually, what's this document? Let me look at Go around Jill or Regina. I, I don't know why I'm still calling her Jill half the time. She is not Jill. <laughs> All right. So, what we want to do is go down there, and I, for one, would like to have the path of least resistance. Wait a minute, this is... Oh, okay, I did not expect there to be one literally right there. Also, I don't know if we can break in here. I hope for the sake of Rick and Dr. Kirk, or uh, Gail and Dr. Kirk, that that is not the case. Uh, let me think here. Okay, I go straight. I do know that this, I have the key for this, this elevator. You now have access to the B3 floor. Yeah, shortcut. Alright, let's see me get hit like five times trying to escape from this thing. Yup. A fucking course. It fucking hits me before I exit. Before I enter this fucking door. I swear these things. I swear their attacks are nearly unavoidable. Oh, hey. Uh. Give me a poison dart and get out. Even though I know you're just going to, uh, even though I know you're just going to respawn. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Get the hell out. And we'll just equip slag bullets, I guess. Okay, there's nothing to mix, so... T-Rex just sort of KO'd from biting into an electrical current. I kind of forgot about this. Uh, mix. Crap. 
Hmm, I guess I'll save up to this point. Out of here. And these fellas have repopulated the area. Where they are, I'm not sure. But, of course, getting hit by them as always. Uh-oh. Oh no, they followed me in here. Whatever will I do behind this laser fence? I also could have used grenade rounds for that, but oh well. Okay. Special weapon storage. video feed from the surveillance camera of this room. Third energy basic concept. The technology to extract energy from the ions in the atmosphere. That is the heart of third energy. If you control the flow of ions by ionizing the constitution of the air, then you can ex excuse me. You can extract the resultant electron movement as energy. The basic concept is simple. The electrons from which energy of movement was extracted combines with ions to once again form the original constitution. However, due to the current level of technology, it is impossible to return it to 100% of the original constitution. The waste co constituent yields a peroxide that is similar to ozone as a byproduct. However, it is not at a high enough level to or it is not at a level high enough to threaten the concept of the proposed clean energy source. So actually what's over here? I don't think I looked over here off screen. Okay, nothing. Was it? Biological weapons restored. If these are activated, all creatures on this island will be annihilated. Well, hell, let's activate them and get out of here then. Oh, there we go. Initializer. And the stabilizer. And there's nothing more you can do here. I did actually check the other part. And, yeah, there's not, nothing you can do. actually have the key and I need to activate the generator which I mean so I got to go all the way back to where I was 
And let me guess, those two dinos are just going to be right here. Well, at least I know roughly what direction it's in. Come on. Get in there. <clears throat> oh wait, I, I I moved that one. Uh, no, not that one. Let's not override this one. Let's override this one instead. Er, yeah, yeah, this one. up as I go past you, please? I think there is... I think there is a cutscene that shows the T-Rex awakening. Though I could be wrong. Apparently those two actually stayed dead, weirdly enough. The one in here won't be dead, I don't think. Oh no, it, it is still dead, weirdly enough. Huh. Oh hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So now I'm lost. I mean, not like super lost, but I don't exactly know where to put this crap. Actually, one thing we can do... No, I already read that. Um... That was obviously one of two th No response. Uh, I don't put the initializer and stabilizer here, do I? No. I did actually find this off-screen. You can push this. And you get an, an intensifier. I think it's an intensifier. Yeah. I think I was supposed to... If I had mixed that with the medium dart, I could have gotten a large dart. And then... If I mixed that with a resuscitation, I could have gotten a poison dart. This is just gonna give me error, error. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Yeah. I think I go down and put the initializer and stabilizer down there. I.
Yeah, this is like a good game me an error message, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I do know... I do know one thing. I do have Dr. Kirk's fingerprint data. So I can, uh... I can input 31415 in the computer and see what that does. And then I might bumble around off screen again and figure out what I'm supposed to do from this point. <clears throat> Now, unfortunately, a blue raptor spawned in here. I was gonna say, Regina, you better make that. I'm not sure if it can follow me in here. I pray that it can't. Actually, can I go in here? Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, yeah, let's read that. Preparing the stabilizer, stabilizer and initializer. Make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiment. Oh, I already read this. Planning disk is required. Is this going to have the exact same graphics as the MO disk? AKA the system disk from Resident Evil? Small wiretapping device appears to have something recorded on it. Sure. My only concern regarding the new generator is the stabilizer. It functions perfectly under nominal conditions. But it's still a problem under certain conditions. Look, with the generous budget, personnel, and facilities at your disposal, shouldn't you be able to solve that problem? Once control can be established, we will literally have the power of a god at our disposal. And it will all be attainable if you cooperate with me. The power of a god. How could I refuse? Fuck yeah. That's a nice little reward. Well. Well, I do know one thing. The raptor can't follow me in this room. This is a safe room, and that means that it is safe from all enemies. Kirk, will you overwrite the card data? Yep. There we go. Alright. So now I gotta set the generator, and I'm not actually sure where to go for that. And the segment has been about 30 minutes. Actually, it'll be more than 30 minutes. So... I'm thinking... 
that, I will end the segment here, right back where I started. And I will look for that place, and I'll see you guys next time for what might be the last segment of the LP. See you guys then. <laughs>